What's going on everyone? Hope everyone is doing good. Today I wanted to make a quick little video just breaking down a uh, internal reference of this engine after a full uh, gallon or five liters worth of gas. Uh, I wanted to show the internals of this engine, show the color that the fuel leaves, and uh, talk a little bit about the Nitro Lux fuel that I've been running this season through my engines. Uh, and just show you guys kind of what the internals look like after about a gallon worth of uh, running. So we'll go ahead and take apart my uh, OS Maxima uh, JTP N04R. Uh, and we'll go ahead and show you what the insides look with the Nitro Lux fuel. So let's get started. All right, so we've already gone ahead and done a little bit of the work, uh, just so you guys don't have to watch me take it off. But we've gone ahead and removed the back plate from the engine. Uh, as you can see, the Nitro Lux fuel, uh, it is a caster synthetic mix, uh, so it leaves a really nice coating. I really don't know if the camera picks it up, uh, but it's got a really nice like golden tint to the entire back plate. Um, it's got a really nice lubrication package, so uh, normally you don't have to worry about running any after run. Uh, this engine has actually been sitting for about two or three weeks now. Uh, since this was a brand new engine, ran it in, uh, broke it in, ran it for an entire uh, gallon and a half for about five liters worth, which is those big jugs that you saw at the start of the video. Uh, and I kind of pulled it aside and I put another engine in that I had to run in. But this engine has only seen uh, a full jug worth of fuel. Uh, so exactly a little over a gallon uh, or five liters worth Um for those big nitro lux jugs and that's the 30 percent nitro as well so back plate's got a nice coating to it really good lubrication package going on there and then we'll see what the inside looks like hopefully i can get you guys close enough everything looks great down there uh, nice oil uh, package going on bearings feel butter smooth there is zero signs of rust in there uh, I really hope you guys can see that. It's a little tough with the GoPro because I can't zoom. Um, but everything looks really good. Zero rust. And there's still a little bit of an oil coating all over those parts. Uh, so, so far so good on uh, the lubrication package and everything for the bearings. Again, this engine's been sitting sealed up with the OS dust caps on the carb uh, fuel inlet and on the exhaust port uh, in a Ziploc bag for about three weeks now. So... Uh, there's zero after run in this engine. Uh, this is exactly um, all the all the protection that's in here is because of this fuel. So this is a good test uh, to see what this fuel is all about when you do that. So uh, we'll go ahead and pull the cooling head off of the engine, remove the piston and sleeve, and we'll come back and show you guys what the internal parts look like uh, in this engine. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we've gone ahead and removed the head button from the engine, and the piston, and the sleeve, and the block is nice and empty. So hopefully I can get you guys a little bit closer, and you guys can see some of that, but zero rust. There's a nice golden hue uh, to most of the chrome parts uh, on the aluminum block. Uh, the crankshaft doesn't have any rust on it. Everything looks really good in there. Uh, and like I said, bearings are butter smooth, no notchiness or anything, so all good there. Head button's got really nice color pattern to it. Uh, again, as you can tell, it has that nice uh, burn pattern. Uh, just kind of showing that the lubrication package out of the uh, fuel has that caster synthetic mix. So it's got that crisp factor that you're looking for when you're going for those crispy tunes, trying to get fuel mileage and all that. Personally, this engine... Uh, on a race tune, pretty aggressive race tune, clutched pretty aggressively. Uh, I was getting about eight and a half to nine minutes worth of runtime with this engine running a six millimeter Venturi, uh, and that was in my Nitro buggy. Uh, in that footage uh, in my channel that you guys actually saw from Adrenaline Raceway, a few laps that I did with the B4, that was that engine uh, in the car. Um, good color pattern, nice golden brown, and it's got that carbon buildup going on there. It's not a bad thing. I hear so many people with racing that think that the color buildup is bad for the engine and that you don't want it. Uh, but all of this just aids with protection and, and longevity uh, in your engine life. Uh, so really good color pattern out of these parts right here. Kind of what I look for 
is the piston. Uh, it has the best color pattern that I could ask for with fuel. Uh, everything is looking exactly the way that I want. It gives me good telltale signs. I well, should go ahead and get a little bit closer for you guys. You got a nice black carbon buildup at the top of the piston. And then on the sides, it gives me good indication that compression's good. There's no signs of, um, of leaks or it running too hot. You have the nice uh, wear pattern up by the rings. And as soon as you get past the rings, it uh, kind of shows you uh, that your compression's pretty good. You don't have that blowout of it being that gray, uh, washed out metallic color all the way down the piston. You got the uh, the ring marks, which is kind of where your compression builds up, and this kind of indicates that your engine doesn't have any leaks, because kind of what I look for is to make sure that we have a color separation, because if you have this same exact color uh, through the bottom of the engine, you're either running it too lean, or you're running your engine um, it's just running a little bit too hot and it's not, it's not really leaving a, uh, you know, a little bit of extra oil in your engine. So, uh, this is kind of what I look for with fuel. Uh, I'm very meticulous about engine internals when I run nitro. Uh, and this is a really good indication that everything's running good. We have good compression and then the color that you get down below just shows that you're getting the build up in the compression stroke and the blow by, uh, is doing what I needed to do when it's going around the track. So, you have that nice burn pattern all the way around. It's still building up. Like I said, it's only uh, a little over a gallon and some change uh, worth of fuel, but already extremely nice color pattern uh, on the engine for only a little over a gallon. And then a really nice part to look at as well. Uh, the inside of the piston has a really nice bronze golden coating going on uh, for all the internal parts. So that, uh, that, cross pin that goes through the inside of the piston. It's getting good lubrication. All the internal parts are nice and coated. Uh, so you know that if it sits for a prolonged period of time, you have that protection from the oil package uh, and everything's working the way that it should. So really happy with all this. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick video just to break down and show you guys kind of what I look for, what it leaves on your engine. Uh, and it's been Really, really solid so far for me. The Nitro Lux fuel has been working awesome. Really good tunes, great power, uh, and really just does everything that I needed to do. So uh, if you guys are interested in getting some Nitro Lux fuel, or you guys enjoyed the video and got some useful information out of it, or have any questions on the Nitro Lux fuel, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll go ahead and try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, and then, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys do want to get some Nitro uh, Lux fuel to be able to run, you can pick up uh, the fuel from uh, Beach RC Hobbies down in Myrtle Beach. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and we will catch everyone in the next one. Take care.